An Israeli airstrike struck a residential building near the Lebanese capital Beirut on Tuesday, causing damage and blowing out windows in the area. The strike appeared to hit an apartment in the building on the southern highway leading up to Beirut International Airport, and about 100 meters, yards, from the Iranian embassy. The Israeli military said it carried out an attack in Beirut, without giving further details. There was no immediate word on casualties. The Israeli military began what it called a limited, localized operation against Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon on Tuesday carrying out targeted ground raids in villages close to the Israeli border. The targets, it said, pose an immediate threat to Israeli communities in northern Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning Monday to Iran, which backs Hezbollah and Hamas. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach, Netanyahu said, just days after an airstrike south of Beirut killed the leader of the Lebanese Hezbollah group, which is backed by Tehran. Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, promised the group will fight on following the death Friday of its longtime chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel has also assassinated several of the group's top commanders in recent days. Qasim said the group's fighters are ready and the slain commanders have already been replaced. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since October 8 the day after Hamas sent fighters into Israel and sparked the war in Gaza. It's been almost a year since some 250 people were abducted from Israel, and friends and family are worried about their loved ones as attention turns away from hostages and north toward Lebanon. Ukraine's destruction of two arsenals of the main missile and artillery directorate of the Russian Defense Ministry has already begun to have an impact on the front. Russian troops in the Kursk region are facing a shortage of ammunition. This was recently reported by the Russian Z resource Northern Channel associated with the Russian armed forces. In principle, this was to be expected. After the flights to ammunition depots in the Tver region, the units in the Sudza direction began to feel a shortage of ammunition, the Russian resource wrote. He specified that there is a shortage of 122mm caliber artillery shells, including for the D-30 howitzers and even 5.45mm caliber cartridges. The latter, we recall, are used for firing from the Kalashnikov assault rifle. The company commanders are already starting to get a little nervous about this. So far, nothing super critical, wrote Z Channel. He clarified that at the moment, the command is trying to resolve the issue by redirecting some of the shells from other directions. It is noteworthy that, according to the resource, the GRAU arsenal supplied shells to Russian troops operating not only in Kursk, but also in the Kharkov regions. On September the 18th, Ukraine launched a successful strike on a main missile and artillery directorate arsenal in the Tver region. The detonation was so powerful that seismologists recorded quite serious earthquakes at the site. The warehouses were completely destroyed. A few days later, another main missile and artillery directorate arsenal was successfully struck a couple dozen kilometers from the previous one. Russia lost a colossal stockpile of ammunition that it had planned to use in an aggression against Ukraine in the next couple of months. Recently, another arsenal of the main missile and artillery directorate of the Russian Defense Ministry in Volgograd region came under attack. In the Volgograd region, a large arsenal of the Russian army Kotluban was attacked. Journalist Alexander Nevzorov reported on Telegram that the strike could have destroyed, among other things, an Iranian FAF-36 missile launcher, as well as a large quantity of ammunition. There was a detonation of 45 tons of ammunition. 
Such a detonation is equivalent to a tactical nuclear explosion. 90% of the warehouses were destroyed, data from our verified sources SBU, he wrote.